From the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston, connecting with thought leaders all around the world, this is a Cube Conversation. Welcome to the Cube's coverage of HPE Discover 2021. I'm Lisa Martin. I've got three guests with me here today. Going to be talking about the partnership between HPE and AMD. Please welcome George Hope, Worldwide Head of Partner Sales at HPE, Terry Richardson, North American Channel Chief for AMD, and Peter Chan, the Director of EMEA Channel Sales at AMD. Gentlemen, it's great to have you on the Cube. Well, thanks for having us, Lisa. Nice All right, we. We're excited to talk to you. We want to start by talking about this partnership. Terry, let's go ahead and start with you. HPE and AMD have been partners for a very long time, very long history of collaboration. Talk to us about the partnership. HPE and AMD do have a rich history of collaboration, spinning back to the days of Opteron. And then when AMD brought the first generation AMD Epic process to market back in 2017, HPE was a foundational partner providing valuable engineering and customer insights from day one. AMD has a long history of innovation and have created a high performance CPU roadmap for value partners like HPE to leverage in their workload optimized product portfolios. Maximizing the synergies between the two companies, we've kicked off initiatives to grow the channel business together with workload focused solutions and together we define the future. Thanks, Terry. George, let's get your perspective as worldwide head of partner sales at HPE. Talk to me about HPE's perspective about that AMD partnership. Yeah, Lisa, it's uh, with the introduction of uh, the third generation AMD Epic processors. We've we've doubled our AMD based uh, ProLion portfolio. Um, we've even extended it to our follow systems. And with this, we've achieved a number of world records across a variety of workloads uh, and are seeing real world results. The third generation AMD Epic processor delivers strong performance, expandability, and the security our customers need as they continue their digital transformation. Uh, we can deliver better outcomes and lay a strong foundation for our profitable partner growth. And we're incorporating unmatched workload optimization and intelligent automation with 360 degree security. And of course, uh, with, a, with an as a service experience. But as a service experience becoming even more critical, as is the security, as we've seen some of the groundbreaking numbers and and data breaches in 2020 alone. Peter, I want to jump over to you now. One of the things that we see HPE and AMD talking about are solutions and workloads that are key areas of focus for both companies. Can you explain some of those key solutions and the value that they deliver for your customers? Absolutely, Lisa. From edge computing to HPC to the cloud and everything in between, AMD and HPE have been focused on delivering not just servers, but meaningful solutions that can solve customer challenges. For example, we've seen here in EMEA, the DL325 has been really powerful for customers that want to deploy VDI. Um, HP and AMD have worked together with ISV partners in the industry to tune the performance and ensure that the user experience is exceptional. Um, this is just one example of many, of course. For instance, the 345 with database, 365 for dense deployments, it's key. The 35 that has led the way in big data analytics. Um, the Apollo 6500, breaking new path in terms of AI and machine learning, quite a, a trending topic. And AMD and HP are always in the news when it comes to groundbreaking HPC solutions. And oh, by the way, we're able to do this due to an unyielding commitment to the data center and long-term laser-focused execution on the AMD roadmap. Excellent, thanks, Peter. Let's talk about the channel expansion a little bit more, Terry, with you. You know, you and the team here, Channel Chief, focused on the channel. What is AMD doing specifically to expand your channel capabilities and support all of the channel partners that work with AMD? Great question, Lisa. AMD is investing in so many areas around the channel. Let's start with digital transformation. Our channel partners consistently provide us feedback that customers need to do more with less. Between AMD and HPE, we have solutions that increase capabilities and deliver faster time to value for the customer looking to do more with less. We have a tool on our website called the AMD Epic Server Virtualization TCO Estimation Tool that allows you to visually see the savings. We also have lots of other resources such as technical documentation, AMD Arena for training and demo CPUs that partners can take advantage of. Aside from solution examples, AMD is investing in headcount uh, internally and at our channel partners. I'm actually an example of the investment AMD is making to build out the channel. 
One more thing that I'll mention is the investment that our CEO Lisa Su and AMD are making to build out the ecosystem. From headcount to code development, AMD is investing to have a more powerful user experience with our software partners in the ecosystem. From my discussions with our channel partners, they're glad to see AMD expanding our, our, our channel through the many initiatives and really broadening that ecosystem. Carrie, another question for you. As channel chief, I'm just curious, in the last year speaking of you talked about digital transformation, we've seen so much acceleration of the adoption of that since the last 15 months has presented such challenges. Talk to me a little bit about some of the feedback from your channel partners about what you AMD and HP are doing together to help those customers that needed to deliver that fast time to value. You know, so really it's all about uh, close collaboration. Um, we, we work very closely with our uh, counterparts at HPE just to make sure we understand partner and customer requirements and then we work to craft the solutions together from engaging technically to collaborating on, on you know, when products will be shipped and delivered to also just what are we doing to, uh, to identify uh, the next key workloads and projects that we're going to be engaged in together. So it's, it's really brought the companies, I think, even closer together. That's excellent. There's a, a COVID catalyst, as I say, there's a lot of silver linings that we've seen and it sounds like the collaboration, Terry, that you mentioned has become even stronger. George, I want to go to you. Let's, HPE has been around for a long time. My first job in tech was Hewlett Packard, by the way, many years ago, I won't mention how long, but talk to me about the partnership with AMD from HPE's perspective. Is this part of HPE's DNA? Absolutely. Partnering is our DNA. Uh, we've had 80 years of collaboration with an ever expanding ecosystem of partners that, that all play a key role in our go-to-market strategy. We actually design and test our strategic initiatives in close collaboration with our partners so that we can meet their most pressing needs. We do that through like partner advisory boards and things of, of that nature. Um, but we have, we have one of the most profitable partner programs in the industry, two to three times higher rebates than most of our competitors. And we continue to invest in the partner experience and creating that expertise so partners can stand out in, in a highly competitive market. Uh, and AMD is in direct alignment with that strategy. Uh, we have strong synergies and a common focus between the two companies. And I also imagine, George, one question, follow on question to that. There's tremendous value in it for your end user customers, especially those that have had to, if everyone pivot so many times in the last year and have talked to me a little bit about, George, what you're seeing from the customer's perspective. Well, as Antonio Neri said a couple of years back, uh, the world is going to be hybrid, and uh, and he was right. We continue, uh, we continue to see that evolution, and we continue to deliver solutions around a hybrid digital world with with GreenLake, and the new wave of uh, digital transformation that we we refer to now as the age of insight. Uh, customers want a cloud experience everywhere, and seventy percent of uh, today's workloads can't easily be refactored for the public cloud or they need to stay physically close to the data and, and other apps at the emerging edge or in colos or in the data centers. Uh, so as a result, most organizations are, are forced to deal with the complexity of having two divergent operating models and they're paying higher costs to maintain them both. With, with GreenLake, uh, we provide one consistent operating model with visibility and control across public clouds and on-prem environments. And that applies to all workloads, you know, whether it's cloud native or non-cloud native applications. Um, we also have other benefits like no cloud lock-in or no data egress charges. So you don't have to pay a steep price just to move workloads out of the public cloud. And then we're, uh, we're expanding collaboration opportunities uh, with and for our partner ecosystem so that we can bring that cloud experience to a faster growing number of customers worldwide. So we've launched new initiatives uh, in support of the core strategy uh, as we accelerate our as a service vision and then work with partners to unlock better customer outcomes with GreenLake. And of course, HP Compute of which uh, AMD is part of is, uh, is the underlying value added technology. George, can you expand on some of those customer outcomes as we look at, as I mentioned before, this very dynamic mar market in which we live, we, it's all about customer outcomes. What are some of those that from a hybrid cloud environment perspective with GreenLake that you're helping customers achieve? Well, at least uh, GreenLake has come out with uh, with about 30 different uh, different offerings that package up some solutions. So you're not just buying infrastructure as a service. We have offerings like HPC as a service. We have offerings like uh, 
a VDI as a service, ML ops as a service. So we're, we're packaging in technology, some are ours, some are not ours, but into completing some solutions. So it creates the outcome that the, uh, the customers are looking for. Excellent, thanks George. And Peter, last question to you. Again, with the hybrid cloud environment being something that we're seeing more and more of, the benefits that GreenLake is delivering through the channel, what's your perspective from AMD side? Yeah, absolutely, Lisa. So, so I mean, I think it's clear with AMD based systems, customer get the benefit of performance, security, and fast time to value whether deployed on-prem and the cloud on a hybrid model. So please come try out um, our HP system based on AMD processors and see how we can accelerate and protect your applications. Thank you, Lisa. Excellent. Peter, George, Terry, thank you for joining me today. I'm sure there's a lot more that folks are going to be able to learn about what AMD and HP are doing together on the virtual show floor. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. For my guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover 2021.